Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with an unboxing. It has been months um, since my last video. Um, I think my last video was on my birthday when I had the um, three small items. Um, and I haven't bought anything since then. I hadn't planned on buying anything since then. And I had no bags on my radar at all. No um, SLGs on my radar. I've been really happy with my collection the way it is and just hadn't got my heart set on anything. And I got suckered into this bag big time. And I feel... I feel like it's something that a lot of us can do. Um, most of us are probably smart enough to ignore it. But I actually saw an Instagram post uh, showing this bag um, and it kind of piqued my interest. And I ended up going on the Coach website and perusing their items that they had on there. And I saw one of their new bags called the Tabby bag. Well, I say it's new. I actually don't know if it's new or not, but it was new to me. I hadn't seen it before. And um, the last bag that I kind of had an interest in from them was the Cassie bag. Um, they had uh, a colorway on there that was kind of, um, I think it had the monogram kind of on the front of the bag and then pink and red uh, like on the sides and the handle and that. And I really, really liked that. But the one that I liked would seem to have only been available like in the States. Um, we had, uh, the color we had here was different. It was like red and pink, but the other way around and didn't, did not like it that way around. So um, since then I've not had any interest in any of their stuff. I don't usually look at Coach to be honest, but I saw this bag that I've, got to show you today and I really really like the style of it and I really really like the colourway of this bag. Before I open the box I just uh, wanted to check in with everyone and see how you're all doing. I know it's still pretty crazy everywhere around the world at the moment uh, with the um, thing that shall not be named but um, I hope everyone's doing okay and keeping safe and well. Um, I've just been at home, bored, not really doing anything much. This is the first time I've had makeup on, uh, yeah, since my last video. So I've pretty much been living in pyjamas and braless and <laughs> makeupless. Um, but we're just pretty much staying indoors and not really going out at all. I feel like I'm turning into a recluse, to be honest. I think next time I go out, I'm going to be phobic of people. I mean, I wasn't really a people person as it was, but all of this, like, staying indoors is not doing good for my social anxiety at all. But other than that, I've got the kids and the dogs to keep me company. Um, so I suppose a little bit of retail therapy when we're going through this current global situation is allowed, I guess. But anyway, I'll get on with the unboxing. This is the box it came in. Now, although this is a coach bag, I actually bought it from a website called mybag.com. I've had this since the weekend. It is now Thursday and I still hadn't opened it because it's half term and the kids have not been at college and school. I've kind of um, not really had a chance to do it because they're too noisy. I mean, my son's in his bedroom. So I'm just waiting for him to start yelling at his computer again. But my daughter's out today, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to unbox it today. But we have air paper in here that my dog is terrified of, so he is now hiding down there. <laughs> I'll put that down there so it doesn't frighten him anymore. And then inside packaged like that okay so here we go just a little sneak peek at the side looks like this bag has actually been opened before so perhaps somebody bought it before me and didn't like it but it has been opened but let's have a look I 
for the price I got it for, I, I don't mind. Usually I would not like that. But, um, yeah, it's not been put back very nicely. Okay, so we have the strap. This is really wrapped up. Hold on a second. I take back what I said. It's actually very well packaged. So this is the Coach Tabby 26, um, which is the smaller size, and the colour is called Hibiscus. So I have taken all of the packaging off the bag um, and put the handles on. So as you can see, it comes with two straps. It has um, this kind of shoulder strap that you can either wear over the over your shoulder, um, you know, as a shorter handle um, or obviously you can carry it in the crook of your arm like some people do um, and then also it comes with a longer adjustable shoulder strap that you can wear um, either over your shoulder or cross body um, it has got one two three four seven holes um, so very adjustable and what I liked about this strap was that it's really thick um, so I figured it'd be really comfortable to wear um, and then if you are wearing it with the longer strap you can leave the shorter strap on and it will just hang there at the front of the bag or if you put it on the back at the back of the bag whatever but on the back of the bag there is a slip pocket there so on the front of the bag you have the pebbled leather here this kind of berry coloured leather is smooth leather. Then you have pebbled uh, on the back and um, kind of around here as well. And then as I said there is suede on the sides there. Um, the bottom is also the pebbled leather. Um, so you have the two different textures um, there. And then you have the gold hardware um, all over there the coach um, C logo clasp uh, then it is a magnetic closure um, just there quite a big um, chunky lock then inside the smooth part um, here is actually another slip pocket that we have there and then I didn't think to remove the innards of the bag. So here we are, just emptied all of the packaging material. So the inside is kind of an oxblood uh, microfiber. It's a little bit um, dusty from the packaging there. Then there is um, a compartment at the front there, a compartment at the back, um, slip pocket at the back there, that has the care instructions in it. And then in the middle partition, it's actually zippered. Um, it's got the dust bag in there. So it does come with a little dust bag there. And then that is big enough to put a phone in. Um, I've got an iPhone 10 uh, that fits in there just fine but you could obviously use that middle section there as like a wallet um, you could because it is a smaller bag uh, to space save if you didn't have to take your wallet with you you could take all of your um, cards and notes and coins whatever maybe throw them in there or throw a card holder in there just to keep them safe um, and then obviously you have that extra sh security of having that um, zipped that's a really nice zip as well um, but because of the shape of this bag and um, because it's kind of that A-line shape although the um, compartments look small from the top they kind of widen out towards the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to see if I can fit my kind of daily essentials in here like I said even though I've not been going out anywhere um, I do still kind of go and, go and get the you know grocery shopping um, and that at the weekend 
so I do like to take my daily essentials and I don't like to have to leave anything out for the sake of the size of my bag. So that is one thing I need to make sure so I can get everything in there. But if I can't, I know that my mum wants this, this bag as well. And because I got such a good deal on it, I know that um, you know if it doesn't work for me, it will definitely work for her. So let me go over a few details about the bag for you. So, as I said, it's the Coach Tabby 26, and this is the Hibiscus Multicolor uh, Color Block Leather uh, with polished, pebbled, and suede um, leathers. Uh, it has the gold C hardware, two straps that are both detachable, and um, they both have the little um, fasteners, look like dog lead fasteners. This bag and the SLGs that are kind of in the same line, there are over 40 designs, colours, uh, designs. Uh, there are some that have got like uh, studs or rivets uh, around the edges. There are plain versions, so like there's a really nice black version that's just uh, all of the levers are black. And um, they do it in loads of different colours. I've seen some of them that have got like the C here is like embellished, so uh, the one that's kind of in my brain at the moment is one that's kind of got like a red it's like this color all over and then the C is kind of like a pinky purple tortoiseshell um kind of look and um they also do like sheepskin versions if that's your kind of thing they do the coach monogram versions um embroidered versions there are loads so definitely something to suit everyone and the bag also comes in various sizes off the top of my head there's this one which is the smaller size there's a slightly bigger one I'll um, stick pictures up somewhere on the screen I'll try and stick them up here so you can see for a comparison um, but they do a bigger one they also do a top handle one which is really nice uh, and they do um, like there's SLGs as well, so there's um, I think there's a couple of different wallets as well. Um, I bought one of the wallets for my mum for her birthday this year, um, and she loves it. Now this bag on the Coach website is £395. I don't understand that because almost everywhere else that I have looked, the bag is £295, so £100 cheaper straight away, and that's without any codes. I got this bag on mybag.com. Um, they have a couple of different designs on there that have actually got 30% off at the moment. Unfortunately, this one didn't, but I was able to cheekily use my son's student discount, which, um, don't tell anyone, uh, but I got 15% off. And then also they had 13.2% uh, cashback with top cashback. Um, so I got 20... £7.31 cash back on the bag as well. So with my son's discount, I ended up paying about £250 for this bag, which is £395 on the coach website. So it definitely shows that if you shop around, you can totally get a better deal. Um, as I said, they did have some with discounts on. They do the large black one. I've seen that with 30% off. Um, so I think that's about £270. And then they have this same bag, but in um, like a navy blue and blue version. And that's got 30% off as well. And it's really, really nice. Um, so, I mean, I was umming and ah in about buying it in the first place because I was thinking it was going to be £395. When I found it for £295 on um, a couple of other websites, like I already had saved myself £100, so I was like dead chuffed with that. So to find a bag, you know, it's a pretty sizable bag for £295, and then with cash back as well, like it just seems like too good to be true, really. But I wanted to get this bag because I really wanted something in kind of autumnal colours. Um, I've always loved anything with this kind of berry tones on it. And I don't have any bags that have brown leather on them. 
um, and since I changed my hair colour from the pink, um, I kind of wanted to expand my wardrobe with more colours because this is very different than kind of what I've had for the last few years and it just means that I can wear different colours now and do my makeup different. Not that I ever do my makeup, but you know what I mean. Um, so I thought I'd give this a whirl, see if I can fit all my things in it, which I still don't know and I will have to get back to you with that. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a really nice bag. I really like the style of it. Kind of reminds me of like a Chloe bag. Um, and that's not just because it's got a C on the front. I don't know why, it just does. And I love this chunky strap. I just think it's lovely. And the colours, just gorgeous. So I will see if I can fit my essentials in. Um, I'll see if I can just put that on at the end of this video. So let me go and do that and I'll be right back. So I'm back, um, that did take a little bit of juggling, I'm not going to lie, but I have managed to get everything that I usually carry kind of on a daily basis into this bag um, without it uh, particularly looking overstuffed or being too heavy. Um, sorry, my dog's trying to get out of the bedroom. No, because if I let you out, you'll bark. Um, so I'm going to show you what I fit inside here. So that is the layout of what I've got in here. Now, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I kind of put in as much as I could. So I actually wouldn't carry um, all of this. But I thought I'd just uh, try and fit in as much as I could. Uh, just to see what I could get in there um, but in the front pocket here I have got a packet of hand sanitizer wipes then I have in the front compartment there I have got my mini pochette which is one thing I cannot not take um, I have to have this with me all the time it is the only thing well this on my phone that I have to have with me all the time wherever I go um, I'm never without this thing. Seriously, this was the best investment I have ever had, I think. Um, out of all my bags and SLGs, this is the one I use most, hands down. So, I put that in the front there. Uh, because of the shape of this, it's kind of got that A-line shape. It fits nicely in the bag. It's just the right height um, as well. Um, so, that is in the front along with uh, my Chanel card holder. Then in the back section there, I have got my little pill pocket thing. Um, my phone, which also has a um, pop socket on, uh, but it's still fit. Um, some earphones. And then just in the back there is kind of my little bag of keepsakes, uh, little love notes from my kids and photos and things, I just keep them in there, that comes with me everywhere. And then in the central bit, um, just the cash that I had. And then on the back, um, I have got one of my face masks, um, which fit in there just right. So I mean really that is everything that I would like have to take. Um, if I was leaving the house um, and that seems perfect to be honest so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a try for um, like a couple of weeks see how I get on with it um, and then if I find that it is too small for me um, I will pass it on to my mum because um, she loves small bags but there we go that is my unboxing of the coach tabby 26 um, if I've forgotten anything, um, I will leave it in the uh, description box below. And if you've got any questions or would like any more information, um, just leave a comment. Um, I'll do my best to help you out, um, I, as I always do. Uh, but I hope you like it. Um, I hope you're all keeping well. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.